Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this 53 plate, so late 2003, Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 County that's been converted to automatic transmission and has a very, very high spec as well. Uh, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 2003 on a 53. Defender 90 TD5 County that's been converted to uh, automatic transmission. Um, not going to go through the total spec, it's huge spec on this one, but uh, you can see most of the things on the video and I'll be here all day, but we will actually note them down on our website, everything that it's got. Finished in silver, black interior. Uh, seat wise, it has got G4 style front seats, half leather ones. Uh, boost alloys, matching set of general grabbers. Just take a slow walk around it. Now this one has been prepared for green laning and off-roading and has been used as such a little bit. There are one or two little dinks and donks on it, but um, really not very many. I think it's also had a suspension lift by the look of it. Looks like it's possibly an inch taller than standard, but um, uh, I need to, uh, as I say, have a look at this, the, the history and see what we've got on it. I think it's also um, possibly been chipped because it does go very well. But again, I'll have to have a look at the history. So, we'll start around the front end. We haven't tested the winch, um, but it does all look as if it's been fairly recently used. Um, it's got the winch bumper on there, the very heavy duty one. It's got LED lights with the exception of the headlights. Everything else is LED. Um, there is some sort of paint loss from the powder coating on these uh, uh, metal light surrounds and what have you. And we've got a little bit of paint loss and a slight dent just here on the near side front wing. Um, looking down the near side, there's a couple of parking, a couple of dinks in the passenger door, which we'll come on to. But um, continuing with the bonnet, that all looks pretty good. Um, near side front wing couple of little hedge scratches on the eyebrow and a little bit of paint loss just there and some electrolytic reaction just down there so we can show you anything under here instead this one is quite low mileage it's showing I think only 68,000 miles I can't confirm until I've looked at the history whether that's correct or not but um, you never know it's got rock sliders on it which have been taped it's got anti-slip tape on, which is good, uh, but they have lost a bit of their uh, bit of their paint. Near side door, we've got a little parking dink just there, a bigger dent in the barrel side just there, hasn't broken the paint, and another smaller one just above, uh, and a bit of paint loss and electrolytic reaction just here under the handle. Um, up here on the scuttle, usual paint loss around the um, screen top there, but this one has actually got billet aluminium. Um, screen blocks on it. Screen rubber has seen better days, probably the original screen, um, and the external cage has lost a bit of its powder coating just up here, obviously been scraped against a, a tree or something. Inside here, got some extra door furniture, extra sort of interior furniture really, with some aluminium there, um, more aluminium on the dash, on the instrument surrounds and things. Obviously it's got the NAS or 50th anniversary centre console because it's got the uh, automatic transmission facility with the uh, compu shift so you can program it. Not sure why you'd ever really want to but uh, but you can. It's also got a uh, bulkhead lowering bar in it and internal roll bar as well. Exmoor trim seats. Don't think they're heated so I can't find a switch. In fact no they're not. Um, now we have actually lost quite a lot of paint on the roof just up here they do normally lose their paint on the roofs these certainly the lacquer but this one's lost paint as well on the roof panel um, but say so most of this age and it is 20 years old now will have done the same if they haven't been repainted and this one hasn't the paint is original some reaction just down there on the near side rear wing Otherwise, a little bit of reaction just there, but top, top trim all looks good. Some
more reaction just up the top there, but not around the Alpine light, although we have got some paint loss just there. A little scrape. Show you underneath the back end. I can see it's been poly bushed. And then around the tail end, let's say we talked about this electric this reaction here. Around the tail end, it's got the NAS rear step. Um, some reaction just up here. And again, some down here. And then inside, oh, there's one thing we didn't check. So this is of an age where it's got steel, steel door frames. Um, in the back here, so being a proper county, it's a it's a windowed hard top this one. Uh, so there's no seats in the back, but it has got um, this locker and uh, sort of a wooden base to keep uh, keep the base nice, the, the the load bed nice. But it's all as it should be there. And now let's go back and have a look at this near side door frame because I think there is a little bit of corrosion in there. Yeah, near side door frame starting to get a little bit flaky just on the bottom edge along here all the way along there it's one of the last ones with the um steel door steel frame doors with the aluminium uh, skins uh, tailgate however is the newer type and that feels fine as they always do under the Carrying on round, looking down the offside. Again, a couple of minor sort of ripples in the driver's door, but not a lot. Um, some reaction just there. So we got there, there, and there. Um, but around the Alpine light, it's all good. A little bit of paint loss just there on the arch eyebrow, and again, some just there. A bit more reaction down here on the wing underneath here see that uh, driver's door a couple of possibly had some paint on the driver's door just up here at some point a um, bit of paint loss and reaction just down the bottom edge Side front wing, bit of reaction there. Not sure what that hole's for. Possibly wading plugs, although they've got the wading, um, not wading plugs, um, you've got the, the wading things in there, so don't know what that hole's for. Bit of corrosion just there. Offside front wing, we've got a very slight scuff just on the arch eyebrow there. As I say, you know, this is one for. Um, this is one for using. And then under the front end, see everything under there. Let's go back to inside. Have a look at this door frame first. Actually, that door frame is pretty good. So it's only really the passenger one that's uh, beginning to suffer. Um, Driver's seat is all nice, but your uh, Momo steering wheel, rev counter, turbo boost gauge, all sorts of things on this one. Um, seat rail runners, uh, height uh, seat rail adjusters that are for extra height. Um, <laughs> headlining and stuff so yeah absolutely total spec really has got nearly everything on it and say so the automatic conversion is its crowning glory anyway hope you like it